Hey everybody, Kio Reinen coming to you here from Patagonia, Arizona, and today we're gonna to talk about gearing. Uh, this is my Trek Checkpoint SLR, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the gearing choices I've made for this particular bike. This is my full-on race rig. It's the bike I'll be using for all of the races this coming season. So I've chosen a whopping big 48 tooth ring up front. Now that's a pretty big chain ring as far as one buys go, but the Explore series offers a 1044 gear selection in the back. Uh, the 44 is the gear I've got for the really, really steep climbs or if the legs give out. Gravel races are really unpredictable and you never know what you're gonna find as you come across some of the tougher sections. On those really steep climbs, the 44 is my safety gear. There's a big gap uh, at the end of the cassette and that, that 44 really allows me to drop down into a gear that's sustainable on those steep climbs, even with a 48 up front. So again, this is a race specific rig. Now we're gonna move on to a little more fun, adventurous version. This is my Trek Checkpoint SL. I've chosen a very different gearing option. Again, I have a 1044 in the rear cassette, which is a huge range. But up front, instead of picking a really large 48, I've gone with a 44 tooth big ring. So this 44 up front and, and 1044 uh, in the rear allows me to sort of do a little bit of everything. It's the, the Swiss Army knife version. The 44 gives me a lot of versatility. It also allows me to take on any terrain that might be a little lumpier than normal. Jeep roads, really rooted trails, wet, soggy Pacific Northwest weather. None of those are an issue for something that is this low of a gearing. So the, the great thing is the Explore rear derailleur actually allows me to swap between a 1036 and a 1044 without having to change anything else. The other thing that I played around with is using an Eagle cassette, which is a 1050 uh, and a different rear derailleur. One of the rad things about SRAM is that it only takes me about 10 minutes to swap out derailleurs and pair that. Now, for the super steep climbs of Bainbridge Island, the 1050 makes a lot of sense, but I also spent a lot of time riding out in the Olympic Peninsula where the climbs are a little bit more draggy and shallower. That's why I found this setup to be the sweet spot. Because this is my adventure rig, I've added the RockShox dropper post and front suspension. This allows me to take on and tackle rougher terrain like Jeep roads and uh, mountain bike trails. With a large number of cassette choices and a huge gear range, you're never going to find yourself wondering if you have the right setup for your fitness level and terrain choice. 